Did you know you could be attacked by hellish beings in the peaceful waters of rivers and oceans? That's right, stay and see the scariest creatures in the depths. The most terrifying fish in the world. Sarcastic Fringe Head The sarcastic fringe head looks very cute when its little head pokes out of the small holes and reefs, but don't assume that it's shy or fearful. Why? Because when something gets too close, it transforms. This sea monster can open its mouth from end to end with huge, terrifying folds. Yes, just like the predator, all in order to defend its territory. It's so aggressive that it doesn't hesitate to attack animals way bigger than them. It even envelops crustaceans and fish whole with its huge mouth when hunting. The sarcastic fringe head is known to attack people when diving, and there are recordings on social media to prove it. So be careful as you might run into this 11.8 inch long fish during a tour to the west coast of North America. Telescope Fish the telescope fish is distributed throughout the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans. It can measure between 6 and 8 inches long, and its appearance is truly terrifying. Its large head ends in a short, pointed snout full of scary, sharp teeth. Its most striking adaptation are its tubular eyes that look like huge glasses. These eyes allow the telescope fish to see its prey in the twilight zone of its deep habitat. And how do they see? Let me explain. Apparently, these fascinating eyes can detect very precisely all bioluminescent prey, and once it spots them, you know the rest of the story. Frilled Shark Really strange and very ugly for a shark, but it is. The frilled shark inhabits the deep waters of the continental shelf of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans at different depths. There are cases where they've been caught at depths of up to 5,150 feet, and sometimes, as in Shiruga Bay, Japan, they can be found as deep as 160 feet. Its primitive appearance grants it the nickname Living Fossil, and it can grow up to 13 feet long. Its body resembles an eel as its dorsal, pelvic, and anal fins are located far back on its body. This fish usually attacks its prey by bending forward like a snake. Then, since its huge jaws are long and very flexible, it can swallow pretty large prey. So this, along with its several rows of small teeth, prevents its lunch from escaping, which can be bony fish, mollusks, and even other sharks. Black Swallower This shark lives in deep waters ranging from 2,297 to 9,006 feet in the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. The black swallower has an elongated, scaleless body that can grow up to 9.8 inches long. With its massive mouth, it can eat large fish even way bigger than this swallower. How can it eat them? This devourer does so with its insatiable stomach since it can expand and hold animals up to 10 times its mass. Its menu is based on bony fish, and this terrifying and insatiable glutton doesn't discriminate sizes. After eating and digesting its prey, its stomach returns to normal size. But because the black swallower is so insatiable, sometimes it can eat prey so large that it cannot digest them. Therefore, the decomposition of the prey releases gases, which forces this fish to the surface, and consequently, this voracious fish dies for not knowing how to control its strong gluttony. Black Sea Dragon This little demon is one of the most startling and mysterious creatures in the depths of the almost unexplored Pacific Ocean. Fish of the genus Idiacanthus are known to be 14 to 20 inches long. However, the Black Sea Dragon is nearly undetectable in the water as its body can absorb 99.5% of all light that touches it. This means they can be practically invisible in their habitat. This power to fully disappear is due to the strong melamine layer on its skin that absorbs and makes all light disappear in a super efficient way. For this reason, the sea dragon has made life impossible for scientists to even take a clear picture of it. In order to see it without looking like just a very, very dark fish, scientists had to have a camera 600 times more sensitive than one you'd have in your hands. Colophrin Pelagica this fish is everything you'd expect from a terrifying creature from the depths. I'll start with its size. The Colophrin pelagica can be up to 5.9 inches long. It lives in very deep waters up to 8,202 feet. Little is known about its habitat as it's extremely rare to see, 
but the few photos, videos, and data that exist of this fish will scare you. The Colophrin pelagica has quite weird eyes, an extremely large mouth, and fins with many spines. It's even disgusting to see in detail. Despite looking small, it can eat large prey relative to its length, and scientists can even prove it with x-rays and 3D images such as at the Natural History Museum in London. Northern Stargazer With its dreadful size of up to 22 inches long, the Northern Stargazer is one of the ugliest fish that inhabit the waters of the U.S. Atlantic. It lives in very shallow waters, and its scientific name means one who aims at the stars. Of course, it somehow lives up to its name with its unique hunting behavior, since its tactic is always to stay buried in the sand with its strange eyes staring at the sky until a victim appears and wham! Plus, it has organs inside its strange head that produce electricity, and with this superpower, it can stun its prey or have a chance to escape its predators. If you swim in the water it inhabits and see this gruesome fish, you'd better not touch it because you might get electrocuted. Kandiru Undoubtedly, parasites scare anyone, but this tiny one-inch fish is the nightmare of the Amazon species as it feeds on the gills of other larger fish. It does so by attaching itself with a series of spikes located on its gills. Thus, it stays attached to the host and feeds on blood as if it were a vampire. Besides, it can even lodge in the urethra of both men and women. This is believed to happen because the Kandiru is attracted to follow the water stream when urinating as a physical motivation, so it swims up the stream until it reaches your urethra. While there, this parasite erects short spines, causing inflammation, hemorrhage, and even death to the victims. As you heard, many natives along the Amazon assure that this little monster can cause infections hard to remedy even with surgery. And although there are few documented cases, in 1997, a 23-year-old man known as FBC claimed that this fish had entered his urethra while urinating in a river in Brazil. So all the inhabitants took his protection measures to not urinate around rivers and wear tough clothing. I'd never want to come across it. And you? Cigar Shark your idea of sharks is that they're big and dangerous. Well, they're certainly dangerous, but not all of them are that big. This fella can be up to 16.5 inches long for males and 22 inches long for females. But what makes it so scary? Native to the warm waters near Ecuador, the so-called cookie-cutter shark has a quite particular bite, as its circular jaw and sharp teeth leave wounds up to 2 inches wide and 2.8 inches deep. Besides, it can feed on animals much larger than them, such as sea lions and even white sharks. Cigar shark bites have been found on cetaceans, dolphins, and walruses. Isn't that frightening? Imagine how strong their bite can be that in the 1970s, several U.S. Navy submarines had to be repaired for bite damage caused by these small devils. Don't move, now comes the most terrifying and the one that will astonish you with its horrifying hunting style. Goblin Shark the hellish appearance of this fish is the first thing that will catch your attention. This scary fish can weigh up to 462 pounds and is found in parts of the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans. Its hideous appearance and extremely large, sharp teeth make it look like a sea demon. Luckily for people, it's very rare to see it since it lives in the depths. But if you think it's scary enough, wait until you find out its size. Many scientists thought it had only reached 13 feet, but in 2000, there was evidence of a specimen up to 20 feet long caught in the Gulf of Mexico. Its hunting style is also terrifying as it doesn't usually chase its prey down. Instead, it hangs silently and uses its protruding snout to sense the fish's electrical waves. When it's close enough, its jaw opens like a catapult and wham! It cuts and devours its prey whole. I'd never want to be there! Such a terrifying ride! Which fish scared you the most? Tell me in the comments, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe to TrendMax if you want to see more animal videos like this. Here are other options for you to enjoy. Don't miss out!